So I'm glad to have all of you here today for our little Thanksgiving dinner. So Riddy, where's Chris? No fear! Chris is here! Hello, Scorpion Country! Don't let the chilly weather get you down because there are still plenty of awesome events happening at Hesperia High. If you've already signed up for it, great, because you can head down to the gym and donate blood in our annual blood drive. There's also a band concert on December 1st, so be sure to not miss out. Now our next segment is going to be a very musical presentation of Hidden Talent, so check it out. I wish I could have done that. But seriously, thanks guys for that awesome musical performance. Now, tomorrow is 11, 11, 11. That's not going to happen for another 100 years. But it's also Veterans Day, so be sure to support our troops. Now, I'll be honest, if you don't know, we lost the key game. But there's still a lot of exciting things happening in the world of sports. And here to give you the scoop is our very own Richard Mendoza. Thank you, Goku. Football. F good luck to all football players on your last game of the season. And if you know one out there, tell them good job on their hard-earned season. And also, good luck to all underclassmen for next year's football season. And here's a shout out from Coach Topete to all football players. Good job on their work both on the field and in the classroom. Cross country. Season has come to an end. It has been a challenging but fun year. And congratulations on winning first, second, and several age group medals on the Hesperia Days run. Now runners waiting for track and field. Track and field will begin February, so just listen to the announcements for the starting dates. Volleyball. Season has come to an end, but it will be later announced the MRL honorees of the team. Girls tennis. Girls tennis has finished their season with an awesome MRL tournament and with three MRL honorees, Darlene Zavala, Erica Gray, and Bridget Labrado. Boys tennis. It's an excellent chance to join the boys tennis team that is looking to win league this year with its three star players coming back. Joey Adamak, Edwin Doring, and myself, Richard Mendoza. Winter sports. All winter sports will have meet their team night on Wednesday, November 16th. Wrestling. Wrestling is looking for people to try out. Practice begins from 2.30 and ends at 5. Kickoffs. Girls basketball and boys basketball will kick off November 28th, while girls soccer will kick off November 22nd, and boys soccer will kick off November 23rd. And that's it for sports. Back to you, Goku. Thank you, Mr. Mendoza, for that awesome information. Now, seniors, this is a big time for you, especially if you're looking at life beyond high school. Cal State and UC applications are due on November 30th, so be sure to get that in before your Thanksgiving turkey gets cold. The CCRC will also be holding presentations on the University of Laverne on November 16th, the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising on December 1st, and VVC on December 2nd. Makeup Senior Grad Fair is from 5 to 7 in the library, and All Important Financial Aid Night is on December 8th in the cafeteria. Now, congratulations to last week's winner of Simple Strategies. Here's another simple strategy, and if you submit it, you could win a fabulous prize. If you practice the following strategy, make sure to submit to Ms. Kelly in the admin room or the big yellow box in the library. Hey, Ms. Barnes. Hi. So, what are we doing today? Oh, marking the text. What's that? Um, how about the I'll show you. Okay. 
Oh, hey, Yvette, it's nice of you to show up today. You're welcome. So, what's the point in this? Okay, by marking the text, we could better understand it, and we could also, like, formulate opinions based off of the claims we read. How do you do it? Well, first of all, Yvette, you're going to have to number the paragraphs and read the text. And uh -huh. don't forget to circle important things like dates, names, and things you don't understand. Okay. And after that, as you're reading through, um, underline claims, which are statements that you could argue with. And as you're reading, write in the margins too. Okay, I got it. Don't oh. forget to mark the text. Okay, so first I'm going to start by marking, by numbering the paragraphs. And next I'm going to circle key terms like Troy of Davis and Shooter and 20 years. Then I'm going to highlight terms I don't know and put a question mark. Question. And then I'm going to underline my claims. Oh, this one's good. We need to abolish the death penalty outright. I'm going to make annotations to this on the side. Don't agree. And that's pretty much it. That's it for this episode of Hesperia Broadcasting. Be sure to visit HesperiaBroadcasting.com for more additional content. And now, from everyone at Hesperia Broadcasting, stay warm, stay safe, and have a happy Thanksgiving. So, so you gave us a mission. We have to investigate suspicious activity around the school. Right. This is BS. We don't even know what we're looking for. Deal with it. It's our responsibility. Rudy's right. Dude, there's a rock. Things just got a lot more interesting. <laughs>